Hey there, Falcon fans. I wanted to show you something fun that I did uh, just to make some glitchy drums. I loaded in a uh, slice oscillator here uh, with a very simple percussion pattern, it's just a drum loop that I picked up. Sounds very conventional. Yeah, so basically anything that you could pick up from a sample pack or anything like that. Let me show you a little bit of what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to open up uh, the tree view and look at the layer so you can see what's going on. One of the main things that's happening here is the script processor called Slice Remixer. And this comes with Falcon for free. It's an amazing little utility, and it lets you uh, use all sorts of ways to uh, manipulate your samples. I'm playing every sample on a 16th note basis, and uh, these slices are being randomized. So the order is random. Uh, this bar shows you which, which sample is playing. The randomized velocity, there's a randomized pitch and pan. And then also I'm doing a couple little ratchets here with this repeat option. All of these can be initialized or randomized to your heart's content. And with this engaged, um, you're going to hear something a little bit different. Let me turn it on and this is what you're going to hear now. Yes, yeah, so is something much cooler and different. Of course, you hear a lot of the original drum in this, and it doesn't sound that interesting. I mean, anybody could, you know, uh, cut up the slices like this. It's not that big a deal. Let me show you a little bit uh, the other things I'm doing. Again, you know, no, no rocket science here, but it's just some fun stuff. Open up the effects rack. Of course, I've got a little bit of dry signal here. It's quite, uh, quite low, six, uh, 16 dB down. And then I've got the uh, this this extra effect uh, chain called ladder. And if I open that up, you're going to see what I'm doing here, which is basically adding a lot of ways to manipulate the sound. So I've got a diode clipper, um, analog crunch, a ladder filter. I'm driving all of these um, quite a bit to sort of change the character of the sound, really add some grit, dirt, and just sort of mess up the sound wave shaper uh, and finally this dual filter the vcf 20 which is a great effect again something to give the sound uh, some nice character and uh, with this engaged you're going to hear something quite different <laughs> Okay, so that's really changed the sound up, uh, which I like. Um, I'm also throwing in uh, a maximizer uh, and a limiter, again, just to get the sound very even. I want to get a nice, uh, decent volume out of everything, adding a bit of delay and some spark verb. Now, uh, here's what we end up now with, uh, at this point. Okay, that's all pretty cool. Um, but one thing that I also uh, wanted early on is I definitely wanted to get that sort of uh, clicky glitchy vibe. So I'm using the uh, amp envelope here. And uh, uh, by turning that on, you're going to see that I'm using uh, not, there, there is some decay here. You're still going to hear quite a bit of the of the drums when I play again. Yeah, so you're still getting what, what we had before. But what I've done is I've added a macro, and I'm using uh, MIDI Controller 74, um, and that is controlling this macro for decay. And uh, if I run, if I roll down here to find the uh, the macro for decay, you're going to see that I'm I'm just manipulating that decay time uh, with this macro, and then this macro is mapped to Controller 74. And so now if I'm playing the sample, I'm going to manipulate my uh, my controller here and you're going to hear what happens. Pretty cool. So now you're getting just those little kind of the transients really. And each one is going to have this very dirty, gritty, snappy character, which I like. And as I manipulate this, you'll see what's happening. I'm just turning the dial again, and you'll see that the delay time is changing. So I can add more body to the drums. Or less, whatever I like. Okay, so that's all pretty cool. Another uh, effect that I added was some space. This just turns on a diffusion reverb, another spark verb, very subtle just to give some space to it.
Okay, cool. Well, that's all well and good. I'm going to turn off the space for now. And going back to the edit and opening the script processor, one other thing that I did is, you know, I use the fact that Falcon has basically uh, almost infinitely modulatable and, uh, and controllable parameters. And so what I did is I actually added a controller value to the slice uh, control and the pitch and pan and velocity controls. And so these are basically going to be randomized. Uh, when I hit a pad on my controller, I map that to MIDI controller 36 for right now. You could use whatever you want. This is just what I'm happening to do. And, um, and this basically will inject uh, a value that will re-randomize these. So I can be playing and at any point I can change these values. All right, so what I've done is I'm just tapping my pad and basically opening and closing a gate. I could use other controllers for this. Of course, I could use a, uh, a value injector or something else. Uh, I'm just using a pad for right now. And this will completely change the character of my loop any time that I want. So I can essentially randomize the loop as it's playing. That way things don't get too boring. So I hope that this uh, this inspires you to make something cool and that when you do, you will share it with the world. Uh, that's what it's all about. And until then, I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon and I'll see you next time.